Joining me now to talk more about this, Congresswoman Jackie Lawarski. She is uh, she represents the second district of Indiana, and she serves as a member of the House Ways and Means Committee. Jackie, welcome back to the program. Thanks so much, Tony. It's an honor to be with you. And, you know, I, I, I'm shocked when I hear these statements from the president and from his administration. We couldn't be farther from the truth. And, you know, I've seen this in my district around the state of Indiana. We're, all, we're about 85% open in Indiana. We would be 100% open if the employers, both the mom and pops and the large production and uh, the large companies, our RV companies and our boats and trailers and all the things that we produce, they can't hire. And so when I hear the president talk about it's not their policies, well, you show me somebody in the state of Indiana that can compete with the federal government and make 17 50 an hour staying home, and I'll show you the cause of the problem. We have got to get people back to work and drop that extension of that unemployment. It is literally paralyzing this country. Uh, Jackie, I've heard the same thing as I have talked to business owners who are out looking for employees and saying, you know, we're, we're, we're in, the government is incentivizing people not to work when you're talking about Absolutely. this level of government unemployment being provided on top of other benefits that are being given right now. That's right. I've never seen anything like it. So, you know, one of the things that we offered through Ways and Means is we offer to go back to work bonus take sixteen, take sixteen hundred dollars, go back to work, get back in the workforce. You know, in the state of Indiana, Tony, we've been back in school since October of last year. And, you know, when it comes to um, our workforce, our economy was zooming back. Our workforce was zooming back. This administration has not even been in power for six months and they are destroying this economy. And, you know, I think it's very relevant that you're talking about this tonight because it is a family issue. The strength of the American family is under attack. Their left pocket and their right pocket are going to be picked by the U.S. federal government. And between uh, not being able to hire and the prices that are going through the roof as we see inflation hitting our state and our country, by next summer, we're not going to recognize this place, Tony. And it has everything to do with the quality of life for American families. So I think it's really important that we talk about it and that we really start engaging on the bad policy coming out of Washington. The speaker, Nancy Pelosi, her response to these anemic job numbers. Now, I just want people to understand what we're talking about here. They were predicting a million new jobs as we were continuing to run on the benefits of the, the Trump tax cuts. Uh, the And then, you know, of course, that was creating the lack of the uh, the reduction on regulations. The economy was was starting to move back after being shut down. Uh, but the numbers, instead of a million new jobs, it was a quarter of that, 250,000, 266,000 jobs. And th th this is horrendous because this is the lowest or the, the biggest miss they've ever made in these predictions. Nancy Pelosi said, oh, we just need more uh, programs. We need more government, which is the very thing that's weighing down the economic growth and uh, revitalizing of our economy. Absolutely. You know, every single bill they have, Tony, that has come in front of, of say, the, say, the House, you know, they're all partisan. They've not invited Republicans to the table. You know, just six months ago, Tony, we were talking about billions. When we talked about budgets, we were talking about billions. Within right. six months, we are talking trillion dollars and not just spending trillions of dollars in deficits. And their answer to this whole equation has been, Let's throw money to people whose vote we can get and let's hold them and keep them locked into this thing until next November. But I'm telling you what the American people, they're, the American people have their ears on. They're listening. They know what's happening here. They've seen this play before when uh, the, the uh, Obama administration was in and, and throwing money into the economy and not having good policy to fix it. I'm telling you, if we could work together, we could get on the other side of this, turn this thing around and be looking at next year with COVID in the rearview mirror and the American dream in front of us, all of us in this country. That is not where we're going unless they stop what they're doing and allow us to come to the table. Congresswoman Walarski, don't you see part of this is they create a problem and then they claim to solve it? I mean, for instance, you heard the Secretary of Commerce saying, well, the reason um, is that people are fearful. They, 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 the mothers can't work, return to the workforce because of schools, because in the president saying the vaccine 
look, all the teachers, they've had the opportunity to be vaccinated, but yet you, there's evidence that uh, the CDC is collaborating with teacher unions to keep schools shut. Well, I'll tell you what, elections have consequences like you know, and I would tell these people across the country, if you're in a state with, that is shut down and your kids aren't back in school and your companies aren't reopening and nothing is happening, you're going backwards and you're stagnant, I would be calling up those local, I would be calling up those governors around this country and telling them exactly what needs to happen and from one of their voters that can hold them accountable. We are in a dangerous situation in this country. And you know, it scares me being on the Ways and Means Committee and seeing the numbers that we see and trying to envision getting through this summer without full employment back to work and then look Looking at next summer, with, with just six months ago, under the Trump administration, we had the lowest unemployment we'd ever ever seen in any kind of category. And within six, not even six months, here we are looking at devastation because of horrible policy, partisan rhetoric, a left curve going off the spectrum where we've never been before as far as how left-handed these policies are. We have got to stand up and start taking this head on and having the American people putting pressure on the speaker and their own representatives. This is a fight that we better be in now and head this off or it's going to get out of control. Congressman, you uh, you were talking about how th there's no collaboration. There's no sitting down. The president says he wants unity, but yet he's not talking. In fact, I think the first meeting took place today with some Republican leaders to discuss yes. the infrastructure bill that's been out there for over a month and a half. But for every big government plan that the Democrats are putting out there that costs trillions, as you pointed out, and that's not an exaggeration, the Republicans have plans that fix the need, but without massive government spending. For instance, you talk about greater flexibility for parents in child care. You've got a bill uh, that you introduced that would help with that without deficit spending and big government programs. That's right. You know, allowing people to put more money aside that's tax free that they can use and they can direct. We've got money. There is money coming, uh, Tony, probably from five different pots right now, whether it's from the COVID Democratic pots or policy that we're suggesting, which is allowing parents to save money in very creative ways and to use different tax credits to be able to pay for childcare. But I'll tell you what, in the state of Indiana, where I represent in Northern Indiana, our kids have been back in school, our families are going back to work, and we're to the point where if we don't cut those extension of the unemployment benefits from the federal level, that is literally ruining families and it's ruining economies and, and local areas if we don't do that and allow parents to get the help that they need but get on with their lives we're, we're hurting our country and we're going to provide we're going to see so much damage that happens it's going to be difficult to get back on top of it you know i just saw this weekend as i was driving through indiana gas is three dollars a gallon well bad policy you know um yeah. Uh, President uh, Biden, you know, killed the Keystone pipeline. The minute he got in office, it was one of his first executive orders. Now we have an attack on another pipeline. And here we sit with the president crippled, looking at a, a large loss. And, you know, doesn't it even move him to say, let's double down. Let's buckle down. Let's get serious about turning this country around. Let's get serious about this and get off the left wing agenda. He has not done that. And I'm telling you, there is danger ahead. Republicans are doing as much as we can. We're filing good bills, Tony. They they won't listen to our bills. They won't bring them down. But you know what? Having the advantage to sit and talk to the American people on your show gives us a great pipeline of information to Americans on how to turn this around. And we are fighting for them. We do have their back every single day. We continue this fight until we turn this around, which could be next November, but it will happen. Can't be soon enough. Uh, Congresswoman Wolarski, thanks so much for joining us. Jackie, always great to talk with you. You too, Tony. Take care.